Hi, I'm Josh from Apt. Here I've got two different big themes in technology, Bluetooth and AirPlay. These are two big themes for wireless streaming methods. So Bluetooth has some big advantages, primarily portability. Bluetooth devices can be pretty much used anywhere. So let's say I've got, I've got an Android phone and I've got my Bose SoundLink Mini and I'm at the beach. No problem. I can connect them via Bluetooth, the communication between two devices, Bluetooth, and I can listen to my music from my Android phone. Now, AirPlay can't do that. AirPlay, I gotta be at home. So that's a big limitation here. But Bluetooth gives me the freedom to really go anywhere I want and use my wireless Bluetooth devices, especially headphones, which not only will communicate with your smartphone to play music, but it'll also communicate for other features like answering a call, hanging up a call by pressing a button on your Bluetooth headphones. Even some of these Bluetooth docks can send and receive phone calls by tapping a button to answer them. So with Bluetooth, really you're buying the portability for headphones or for sound systems, also the communication between uh, smartphone features, and pretty much that's about it. But you've got that flexibility with Bluetooth. Limitations would be really the, the range. They're designed to be near you. So if I'm around 10 to 30 feet, I'm good. I should be good at about 30 feet, but there's uh, interference that could occur with Bluetooth. So, you know, I would say within 10 feet, you're pretty safe. AirPlay has its own features and its own, own disadvantages. One, the disadvantage is that you have to be at home. And the reason why is because AirPlay technology is connecting to your home Wi-Fi. So it joins your home network, and it's a part of your network, and that's how AirPlay works. So if I have, I have an iPod, and I want to go ahead and send a song to my Bose SoundTouch system wirelessly, sure, I could do that. The range doesn't have to be 10 feet. I could be out 50 feet away, connected to my strong Wi-Fi, and send my audio to the Bose because it's on a strong Wi-Fi connection in my house. So the range is only that of the network, which is usually a lot more than 10 feet versus Bluetooth. So you get fantastic range for all types of AirPlay features. Uh, another major advantage for AirPlay is video. Bluetooth cannot send video. AirPlay can. So my iPhone, let's say I've got pictures and, and some videos I took at a party. I could click a button and shoot it over to my Apple TV AirPlay location and watch the video content. I could go to my Apple or my Apple computer and send a, a movie to my AirPlay location. So the video transfer occurs through AirPlay. So that's a major advantage for AirPlay. Outside of that, Airport Express joins a wireless network and can tie into any of your receivers or audio equipment and allow you to send music throughout your home wirelessly. Again, relying on your Wi-Fi. So the disadvantage of that is what if you don't have amazing Wi-Fi? That can be a problem where your AirPlay products are cutting in and cutting out and the audio is, it has lots of interference. So you need to have a great network. If you have a great network, you're good. AirPlay is fantastic. If you have a poor network or there are microwaves that run often near where the AirPlay zone is, that can crush an AirPlay network. So you need good Wi-Fi with little interference for AirPlay to work great. Bluetooth, I've got that great benefit of going anywhere. I've got built-in rechargeable batteries. It works on the beach or wherever I go, and I'm truly portable with Bluetooth. Uh, great options on both sides. Tons of different Bluetooth or AirPlay features. It's a lot of our products on app.com. Check it out, and let's hear your comments. Which one do you choose in the house? When you're going to listen to audio and wirelessly stream, are you doing that with Bluetooth, or are you using AirPlay?